We're here at SEMA 2017 in the Mopar stand. We're about to talk to the guys from Mopar about the exciting new range of crate engines that you can buy, including the Hell Crate. So the, the process that we have to order and get a uh, Mopar crate Hemi is essentially a five-step process. First, you pick your engine, then you pick your engine controller, what we call crate Hemi kit, uh, then you get a front end, con uh, front end module, and then optionally there are other uh, accessories, other options you can do to help you with your build. All things out of our production parts bin. What is really unique about the Crate Hemi process is the fact that we have the Crate Hemi kits. And these have all production based components in it. It's got uh, an ECU that's already programmed. It's got a wiring harness that uses all the production style connectors. It's got a, a power distribution module that again, it's all stuff that's like very similar to what our factory uh, componentry is. So that way it allows you to take one of our Crate Hemi engines, put it into a classic car, and with some very simple hookup, it's ready to go. We call it the non-native application. So in order to do that, to hook up to the vehicle, really you just need power ground and fuel and an ignition and you're, and you're done. Uh, everything else is internal to the kit and we've stripped out from that production controller all the signals it doesn't need. So it's not out there looking for a, uh, a body controller or a brake controller. It knows that it's in this special unique application. So it doesn't, you know, it knows how to run in that application. So the Crate Hemi program has three engines that we use. Last year at SEMA 2016, we announced the 345 uh, Crate Hemi, which is a basically the 5.7 liter engine that you could find in, a, let's say, a Challenger RT. 392 Crate Hemi, which is the, the engine from the SRT Challenger. And then you know, this year, the new news is the availability of the 6.2 supercharged engine that we like to call the Hell Crate, because uh, it originally came from you know, the Hell Cat uh, family of vehicles. You got the 345 that comes with 390 horsepower. You got the 392 that has 485 horsepower. And then the 6.2 liter supercharged is 707. This is, as far as I know, the first time an engine over 700 horsepower has been available, a production engine from a major OEM. And it comes with, you, know, you buy our kit, you buy the kit to actually do the installation. It comes with a three-year unlimited mileage warranty. We know that this is going to go into a place that, you know, places that we probably never even imagined. So we understand you're gonna have to do things like fab and exhaust, come up with an intake, things like that. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's normal. That's expected for the warranty coverage. Obviously you start breaking into the engine, you start changing pistons, you start, you know, maybe put on a bigger blower or something like that. Yeah, and then you're getting into a bit of a, of, a, of a gray area. So we brought three cars with us that have the crate Hemi in it. So I'll start with, a, we have a 1937 Dodge truck. You might ask why a 1937 Dodge truck? Well, Mopar was founded in 1937, 80 years ago. So this is our 80th anniversary. So to tie that all in, we created this truck in partnership with Shell and Pennzoil and uh, it was built by Tommy Pike Customs. It has the 345 uh, uh, variant of the Crate Hemi in it with 390 horsepower. The second car is a, a GTX that was, it's, a, it's owned by Chris Jacobs of Overhaulen. We had uh, Mark Warman from Graveyard Cars. He swapped in the 392 Crate Hemi. So now he's got a reliable engine that uh, turns, a, that every time he turns the key, it, it starts up. And the last one is a 70 Super B tribute car uh, done by Mark Warman of Graveyard Cars. And that's got the big daddy. The you know, wing car deserves 707 horsepower, so it's got the Hellcrate in it, and uh, it's a beast. I think we should start the hashtag Hellcrate Everything. 